gather together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, happy to be with you this Sunday as we come before the Lord again filled with gratitude and trust that he will help us whatever we're going through. Today is World Mission Sunday. The Lord told us, go to the whole world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. We bow our heads and ask ourselves, Lord, what have I done? What am I doing to help spread the gospel? To remind people about you, the God of love. What have I done? What am I doing the rest of my life? Forgive us, Lord, for the times we do our own, own agenda. We do what we like, and we forget your will for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you healed the blind man. Please heal us for the times we do not see you in people. We see money, we see opportunities, but many times we forget to see love and service. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And forgive us, Lord, for the times we lack trust in you, when we do not leave behind our comfort zones to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us give praise and glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We include now our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions and our collective prayer, Lord, that this pandemic will end soon and that we too will continue the mission you have left for us to do. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. 
they departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am the father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that saw in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one take this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. 
But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, pray with me. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility, with love, with the heart, not just with the lips. And that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. But dear friends, it's the end of October again. Soon it will be November. Um, so, so mga kapakong seniors, I'm sure you can remember this song. I'll see you in November. November ba? Ay, September pala. Tignan nyo, pati lyrics nakalimutan. When summer is gone, have a good time, but Remember, I'll be waiting back home. A good reminder for all of us. Someone is waiting in our real home after we have done our mission. Alam po nyo, this pandemic, what do you wish most of us? Well, dalawa po eh. Uh, number one, of course, we wish to see the day na matapos na ito. Ako po, I really believe that this will be soon. I'll see you in December when COVID is gone. Yan, pagdasal natin. God will find a way. God will make a way for us all. And no storm lasts forever. Lahat po dumadaan lang po yan. Only God's love remains. People come and go. God's love remains. So mga kapatid, uh, one more thing na pinagdadasal natin, sana makita natin yung araw nga na matapos ng COVID. Number two, pinagdadasal din natin na sana magkita-kita tayo muli, di ba? See you soon. In the meantime, see you Zoom. Ganun na lang muna tayo. At ang pangatlo po, marami sa atin, ang pinagdadasal lang naman eh, sana Lord, kumita ako. <laughs> Siwala nang kita. Ang dami pong nahihirapan. But for this gospel, here is something that very clear. A blind man, Bartimaeus, all he wanted was Lord, Master, I want to see. I want to see. Marami po tayo mga kapatid na may kapansanan sa pagtingin, blind. We just don't know what they go through. No pity. I don't think they want pity, but just to realize, and marami pong they miss out on a lot of things. For example po, oh, nung bata po tayo, what was the first thing our parents taught us? Do you remember? Beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes. 
maliit na bata, nagagaganun na. Ba't talagang Pilipino? Inuuna yung beautiful eyes. See? We take that for granted. But for the blind, hindi sila makarelate dyan. So what I'm saying is this. We don't know what they go to. Oh, the other thing we learned, itinuro sa atin, close, open, close, open. Ayan, beautiful eyes, close, open. Batang-bata, marami na siyang agenda, homework. The point is this, mga kapatid, we who think so, parang, oh, normal lang lahat, be mindful, please. Be mindful sa mga kapatid natin may kapansanan. And this is where, see how the Lord handled this. Ang ganda po. Lord, I want to see. And the Lord stopped. He stopped. Pwede sa nang dumiradiretso siya, kasama ng bodyguard, gaganan-ganun lang. But He stopped. Because He heard somebody. One humble voice Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. Natinig niya. Mga kapatid, please don't ever forget, God hears us. Yung parang walang nakikinig, no. He hears. I hear you. Ramdam kita. And the interesting thing, what did Jesus do? Sinabihan niya yung mga disciples, call him. He gave a mission, world mission. Call him. Kayo, tawagin niyo siya. Hindi siya pumunta mismo, ay, lika nga dito. Hindi. Tignan niyo, ito pong ginawa ng Panginoon. He wants us to be missionaries. You, call him. Then we came, he healed him. He took time. And the Lord just said, Take courage. What do you want me to do for you? Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Sana po yan ang madinig natin lahat. Take courage. Your faith will save you. Sa lahat po na may mga pinagdadaanan yan, listen to the Lord. Take courage. And what happened? Interesting po. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him. Discipleship. Kaya sumunod na siya kay Lord. Marami po dyan nakakakita at lahat. And yet, they do not follow him. You have sight and yet you follow him. Anong po magandang ginawa? Very significant po. Nung tinawag po yung blind, two things he did. He stood up, left his seat by the roadside. Nandun lang siya sa roadside eh. Ayaw, pwede sana man sana yan. Lord, ikaw punta dito. <laughs> when God calls you, He calls you on His own terms. Don't dictate. Lord, you call me, pero dapat ganito, ganito, ganito. Ha? The blind man stood up. He left his comfortable. Wow, mayroon siya bed, bed spacer na nga siya siguro dun sa sidewalk. Eh. But he left he, because the Lord was calling. Iniwanan niya yung comfort zone niya. Marami po sa atin hindi talaga nakakasunod kay Lord kasi hindi natin mabitaw-bitawan ang comfort zone natin. And, one more thing. He threw away his cloak. Tinapo niya yung kanyang bala, ba, bala, balabal. Ibig sabihin, he let go of something na security blanket niya. Eh. Nung tinawag siya ni Lord, iniwanan niya na, tumayo na siya, lumapit na. Dear friends, ano naman yung mga security blanket mo? Kaya hindi ka maka-respond o katiting lang ang response kasi hindi ka maka-let go yung mga security blanket. It's a work in progress, all of us po, but be aware of that. The more you let go of your comfort zones, the more you let go of your security blankets, you can really, really follow Him.
And when you follow him, true, true happiness will follow. True, true happiness will follow if you only follow true, true happiness will follow if you only follow him yeah yeah Ayan. following the Lord also must be joyful that's it I, I was just wondering wala naman po to wala naman sa Bible no? sa reading nung nakakita na yung si Bartimaeus parang Siguro, kumanta siya. I see trees so green, red roses too. Napakanta siguro. I mean, we take so for granted, we can see colors. A sky so blue and clouds so white. The bright, blessed day, the darkness called night. And then, the song, the next line says, and I say to myself, what a wonderful world. What happened? The blind man received not only sight, but he received a vision. Nagkaroon siya ng pananaw. Hindi lang yung nakakita siya, nagkaroon na siya ng pananaw. Ang ganda pala ng mundo. Ang bait pala ng Panginoon. Pray not only for sight. Pray that you have vision. Marami sa atin panay kasi television at saka yung mga gadget. How many, how many hours do we spend? I don't know. But sometimes because of this, it's all about sight. Vision. Uh, for example, ang sanang vision natin more than sana Lord makakita ako ang vision mo you want to have sight yung iba naman ang vision nila sana Lord kumita pa ako ng marami ang vision mo pera-pera lahat eh baka pwedeng wider vision naman sana ang vision natin Lord sana makita kita sa mga kapatid ko that I see you in all my brothers and sisters. Ang mga iba, nakikita ko lang, pagkakakitaan ba ito? <laughs> ang, ang kitid, ang babaw po ng vision ng iba. Yun lang eh. Pera-pera lang yan lahat, Father. Politiko, pera-pera lahat yan. Wow! Sana po, Lord, give us a wider vision. Wider vision. Mas malawak sana na pananaw, Panginoon. Yan pong hingiin natin. At isa pa po, wider, the widest vision for me, sana Lord, makita kita someday in your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. The horizon of all horizons is eternal life. Sana wag po natin i-block that vision. Kasi tayo dito, nandito lang, mundo lang, mundo lang, pera lang, pera lang, ayos na. Lord, give us a wider vision. Broaden our horizons. Everything is passing. Wala, wala lahat ito eh. What does it profit you and me? We gain the whole world and we lose our soul. Sana po, mas malawak po ang ating pananaw. Naalala nyo yung nanood ng basketball? Nakita niya ka, si Pedro, ay, Tim Magder, ay, o Pedro, sigaw siya ng sigaw, nasa kabila. Eh. Kababayan, kabaryo. Aba, yung katabi, binigyan siya ng larga vista, binoculars. Pag tingin niya ganun, sabi niya, Pedro, Pedro, nandiyan ka pala, Pedro. Ang lapit-lapit na kasi ni Pedro. Eh. Kala niya, nag-uusap na lang siya. He saw a wider vision. Come to think of it, mga kapatid. Siguro, if you see the big picture, the bigger vision, wala ka nang, wala ka nang sinisigaw. Eh. Anong pinagsisigaw mo? Yung mayaman ka? Blessed ka? Hello? 
the bigger picture is all these blessings came from God. Anong pinag, pinagsisigaw mo sa mundo na hirap na hirap ka, problema palagi ang buhay mo, gusto mong malaman ng lahat ng mga tao? Kapatid, kung makita mo yung bigger vision, you know there is a God who loves you. You don't need to shout about your sufferings and trials. Yun po, the big picture. You know why the big picture is so important? Para malaman natin uli that we are very little, very small. Please take time for being small. Kasi po, if you think you are so big, you miss the real picture. Katiting lang po tayo. All of us. All of us. Yet, important and loved by God. So mga kapatid, yan. Importante sa buhay yung pananaw, outlook, di ba? The looks of life. Yung outlook mo, kung negastar ka, negative ang outlook mo palagi. Lord, remove my negative outlook. Ang importante rin sa buhay, mga kapatid, yung in-look. Yan. Time for you to really see yourself. Pag you don't have reflection prayer in your life, wala eh. Wala. You're so, uh, well, dysfunctional in a way. Parang kung ka eh. You don't see things the way you should. The in-look is important. Isa pa po. Ah, importante. Up-look. Up-look. Marami kasi sa atin, sa kahanap ng pera, nakatingin ka palagi dito, hindi ka man lang tumingin na sa taas. Kahanap mo ng mga kagustuhan mo, kabibilang mo ng pera mo, ng mga jewelry mo, nakakalimutan mo na yung up-look. Important po po yan. Up look. And finally, of course, the love look. The look of love. Paano ka ba makatingin? May mga tao kasi ibang tingin eh. Pag makatingin eh, siga. Mayroon mga makatingin eh, mayabang. Tapos ang kilay, sino ba mga yan? Arrogant. <laughs> May makatingin na suspicious. Amen. The look of love. Lord, give us that look. When I can see and understand and I don't have to say much, but I just do it to show my love. Lord, marami pa ho tayong. We are all blind in many ways. Lord, that I may see with the work of love. And Lord, give us a clearer vision. Good sight. Naalala ko nga po yung, remember I told you about that sick call I had in St. Luke's Hospital? Elevator, nakasabay ko. Madaling araw, alas dos ng umaga po. May namamatay. So I said, I went there. This was years ago, not during COVID. And pagbukas ng elevator, may nurse. May inaantok. Siguro pagod na. So, I look at her and said, uh, excuse me, you're a nurse? Uh, uh, Opo, oh, Father Urbas. Yeah. And then, just to make her happy, sabi ko, tinignan ko siya talaga, kalay mo. You know what? Sabi ko, I'm nurse-sighted, sabi ko. Wow! Nung nadinig yung nurse-sighted, can you imagine the, the smile? Hmm, see? Took one word to make her happy. Akala ko, okay na. And then sabi niya, Father, you know, I'm parasighted. <laughs> Mas magaling pa. Amen. The, the point is this, mga kapatid, your sight, your sight. Um, yeah, I'm pari. Tomorrow, I'll be 41 years in the priesthood. Fifteen of us were ordained October 25, 1980. Thank you. And all I can say is this. My ordination prayer has been and will always be. You have called me, O Lord, not so much because of me, but in spite of me. I was called to be a priest. I'm still a priest, not so much because of me. In spite of me, by the grace of God, I am still a priest. In humility, I know that. You have called me not so much to become a somebody, but to be a someone. To you and to your people. 
not as somebody who does this, who does that, who has this office. Ang daming kwan eh. I am a someone. Heart. That I have a relationship with the Lord. And that I... What's important is you touch people's lives. You let them realize that God is loving them. That's all. And my prayer is, keep me, O Lord, ever in your love. It's, uh, say this in humility. And of course, after cancer, my prayer is, Lord, just help me to inspire before I expire. Okay na yun. Two things I would like to share with you. You know, I've shared this before, but I'll share it again. My grandmother, the mama of my mama, died on the day I was ordained a priest. I earned Christ the King, 12 years old. And every vacation, pag dumadalo kami, si Lola would tell me, Oh, Jerry, naku, magpapari ka pala. How many more years? Ay, Lola, sabi ko, 16 years, 15 years. Every time she told me, Jerry, I'll pray for you. Apo, ha? I'll pray for you. And I'll wait for you. Alagaranta ka. I'll wait for you to become a priest. I said, yeah, Lola. Yeah. She died at the age of 98 on the day I was ordained a priest. October 25, 1980, 10 a.m. was the laying of the hands, me and my classmates. 3 p.m., Lola passed away. One of my first masses was a funeral mass. Explain that to me. I know only one explanation. My Lola was always praying the rosary. Almost 24 hours a day, she goes to the kitchen. I know it's the rosary. It's her devotion to Mama Mary. And speaking of Mama, uh, you know, Mama, I, when she was in the hospital, first time in the hospital, eh? she was 92. So we had to bring her. She was in pain. Then okay na siya, first three days. Thursday, I was saying masses every day for her. Thursday morning after my mass, sabi ko, well, I, Mama, you okay na? Sabi ng doktor, lalabas na okay sa Sabado? Ah, yeah, sabi niya. And then typical of Mama, mothers for that mother. Oh, Jerry, sige na. It's okay. I'm okay. Don't worry. You know, may gagawin ka pa. You better go now. May gagawin ka pa. Sige na, ha? Opo, mama, I go. Those were the last spoken words I heard from mama. That afternoon, she had a stroke, massive stroke. Saturday, she passed away. But the words were very clear. May gagawin ka pa. I hold that still. Isn't what the Lord is telling you and me? Buhay ka pa. May gagawin ka pa. May mission ka pa. Please, don't forget today, let us follow the Lord and, and do our mission. Receive your sight and follow Him. This week, well, there was one case where Somebody called me, an unknown number. I just, I don't know why, I just said hello. And there was a lady crying. And she was so direct. Father, I, I want to die. I'm, I'm going now, Father. I just want to let you know. I didn't even know her. So I, I listened. She was sad. Ang pinag-uusapan. Ang hirap. I tried many times. Minsan, hindi ko nag, you know, attempts. Sabi ko, well, we just pray, you know. And maybe what I told her, there's so many in the hospital trying to live, ventilator, intubated. Please think and pray. We prayed. And I just said, say, Lord, bahala ka na po. And I, that was that. Next morning, the same caller, she was different. She was, Father, I, I realized many things that whole night. I thank you, Father, I'm still alive. And Father, may, may kong gustong gawin eh. Gusto ko sana makatulong sa mga taong na didepress. I want to put up some kind of... She had a mission. As long as you have a mission, 
you go on living, please. Okay? At mga kapatid, we pray also for vocations. Huh? Go to the whole world, preach the gospel to all creation. Two-thirds of the world population is not yet Christian. People have not yet heard of Christ or have not yet experienced Christ in their lives. So, maybe we can share our vision. We will not impose our vision on them, but we share our vision about a God who loved the world so much. He gave us His only begotten Son. So today, may I invite you all to pray also. We need missionaries. So, vocations, priesthood, religious life, you're welcome. Yung vocation, yung vocation eh. Vocation, parang yung bintuan. Bukas para sa lahat. At huwag mong sasabihin na, bukasyon. No, don't postpone it. If today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. And one more po. You know what we need in our country? Missionaries. In government. Missionaries in public service. People who have a strong sense of mission for God and country. Yan! Kasi ang daming mga public servants, they have strong, strong sense for commission. Hindi po yun eh. Kaya sila nagiging konsumisyon ng bayan natin. Pray, missionaries in our government who have a strong sense of mission for God and country. So dear friends, I'll see you. I'll see you in December. Pero ang sinasabi ni Lord, I'll see you in heaven when your mission is done. Have a good time, but remember, I am waiting back home. Home is heaven for all of us. Please bow your heads today with humility. Tell the Lord, Lord, I want to see. I really want to see, to see you. To see you in my brothers and sisters. I want to see you in heaven someday, Lord. And I want to see the beauty of this world with all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams. Give me a clearer sight, a broader vision, a broader horizon, a deeper mission. With Bartimaeus, we also say, Son of David, have pity on me. Maawa po kayo sa amin, Panginoon. Maawa po kayo sa aming bayan, sa aming mundo. And now, the Lord would like to ask you a question. What do you want me to do for you? Was there one thing, meron pang isang bagay na gusto mong hingiin? Please, tell the Lord now. For nothing is impossible with God. Yes, Lord. Sana makita ka namin more clearly. Amen. Oh, mga kapatid, wag ingat po kayo ha. Kasi baka sa gusto mong kumita, baka hindi mo na siya makita. Hindi mo siya nakikita dito at hindi mo na siya makikita sa buhay na walang hanggan. Don't forget, my forever. That's the most important thing. My forever. In the kingdom of God, where the Lord lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nagdadasal for us, your priest. Maraming salamat po. Please pray for us. Pray for me. Amen. Now we pray, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, open our eyes, minds, and hearts to our needy brothers and sisters. With faith and confidence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show compassion to the leaders of the church and all missionaries throughout the world. Sustain them in their call to serve and not to be served. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show kindness to the rulers of nations and preserve them from inshatability and self-righteousness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, lead back all prisoners to the light of God's mercy and compassion through sincere and honest efforts of their families and communities who care and pray for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, grant blessing and strength to all who actively work in the prison ministry and missionaries throughout the world. May they continue to be beacons of Christ's light to the people they minister to. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, show your radiant face to those who have died and grant them the future resurrection. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, merciful judge, look upon us with your merciful eyes and listen to the cries of your people who are suffering with blindness and hardness of heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
My dear friends, pray that these are sacrifice a thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O God, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in, our, in your service may be directed above all to your glory through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ the lord for to his paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called the chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. So, with the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, Whatever you're going through, welcome the Lord who is with you always and in all ways. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, which is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor, our Bishop, the bishops, the clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember to Lord our departed relatives and friends. We pray for all victims of COVID-19. We pray for frontliners, health workers, essential workers, and all those who sacrifice their lives for others. Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother God, the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. The unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, thy will be done, Lord. BTS, believe, trust, surrender everything, everyone, to God, our Father. Deliver us from all evil and grant us peace and keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, O God on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So the Lord wants us to be joyful, humble disciples. So peace be with you all and the joy of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, who is with you this moment, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, Thank you, Lord. Salamat po. Sorry, Lord. Patawad po. Help us, Lord. Patulong. We need you. Stay with us. Lord, Master, we want to see. We want to see you in our brothers and sisters. And we want to see you someday in your kingdom where you live and reign. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and grateful are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let's bow your heads in prayer. Lord, Master, I want to see. Help me to see, to see you in everything that is happening in my life, in everything that is happening in our world. Lord, may we never forget what you promised us. I am with you always till the end of time. Lord, help me to see you in whatever sickness I am going through. Help me to see you in my sufferings. Help me to see you in the hurts I experience in the pain. Help me to see you in the loneliness, hopelessness, even in depression. You are there. You are always there, as you have promised. And help us to see you as we go through this night of COVID-19. Help us to see you, Jesus. You are stronger than the virus. And help us to see you even in our brokenness, in our weaknesses, in our failures. Help us to see ourselves the way you see us. And Lord, I want to see you. I hope to see you someday in heaven. In that kingdom where there are no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more sadness, no more problems, no more hurts, and no more goodbyes. Lord, help us to see you and follow you no matter what Keep on following you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you, dear Mama Mary, for teaching us to see Jesus and to follow Jesus. Amen, Lord. So let us pray. May your sacraments, Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs may we one day possess in truth. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every harm far away from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessings amen may god keep your hearts understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of god's commands make co-heirs with the citizens of heaven amen and may you and may continue to follow the Lord 
in spite of everything, do our mission, accomplish our mission. Till we meet him and say, Lord, mission accomplished. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord with joy and humility. And we shall have our harana. Thank you again for your prayers, for us, your priest, for this priest. God bless you all, and Mama Mary loves you. Thank you. Thanks be to God. To the Lord and exalt his name. Give thanks to the Lord, let us sing songs of praise. Shout with one voice and proclaim his words. Give thanks to the Lord all our days. Sing Conrad, Father Don Don, and Father Joel with his bazooka. You know, itong harana po, yeah, we hit on something, and I think maybe this is what we want to say about singing. The song says, don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing. Sing a song. Havana boys. <laughs> So let's do it to give praise and glory to God and to inspire one another. Okay. Son of David, have pity on me. Have pity on us. Blind, but we now can see. Let's continue to ask for that amazing grace. We can see God more.
sing praise How sweet is the song That saved the wretch like me I once was lost but Blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. The grace my fears will be.
that you love me. Thank you, Lord, 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 it's a beautiful day. And even quarantine is still beautiful because the Lord is with us. Sweet quarantine. God is alive, OMG. 
God is alive, OMG. God is alive, he's alive in you and me. Report for duty, for mission. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Thank you. 
communicate with the eyes. Some, on their last moment, communicate their love by blinking their eyes. So, blink three times with your eyes if you love me. Blink two more times if you answer this Oh, my darling, With your eyes if you love me Think two more times If your answer is true Think three times With your eyes if you love me Think two more times If your answer is true Oh my darling With your eyes if you love me Think two more times If your answer is true And don't forget True, true happiness to follow you True, true happiness to follow you only follow you to happen that still follow you only follow me yeah 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 God bless you Mama Mary loves you thank you conference yes sir thank you <laughs> okay